Hey, Jason and Sherman, you know, I'm glad to get some of that good news from Jeremy. You know, as he mentioned, like Houston, uh, power outages are one of the main issues folks here in Galveston are facing this afternoon. Take a look. You can see these down power lines. This has been a common sight, guys. This particular one is here along 24th Street, about four blocks from the seawall. Uh, you can see on that other side, barricades have been put up so that folks don't drive into a dangerous situation since these lines are still hot, guys. Uh, but right now, you know, uh, as Jeremy mentioned, Center point crews are on the ground, hundreds of, hundreds of them working to restore power to people. Uh, and while cleanup efforts are now underway here in Galveston, take a look. Earlier, it was more about assessing the damage left behind by Hurricane Nicholas. The storm's powerful winds, in fact, ripped apart the Sonic located right off uh, Seawall Boulevard near 67th Street, shredding the awning. Its metal pieces found scattered all over the parking lot and beyond. However, guys, back out here live, Galveston officials tell me for the most part, uh, the island fared well against the storm. There wasn't any major damage that they saw. Uh, obviously, the typical down tree limbs, um, some signage. Uh, as far as flooding goes, also good news there. We are actually checked out the strand in the downtown area. We didn't see any flooding in that section. And wherever there was some high water spots, most of it has since receded this afternoon. Now, circling back uh, to that power outage, guys, crews say they know a lot of people here in Galveston have been without power since late last night. In fact, I myself lost power at the hotel I was staying at uh, along the seawall uh, around 11 last night. But they say they just are asking for your patience. They say they are working as quickly and safely as possible to turn the lights back on. So hang in there, guys. Back to you.